Welcome back to the final episode, episode three. We're finishing up this uh, full bathroom remodel, this cookie cutter bath and shower to a beautiful and custom bath and shower. So here we go, final touches, wrapping everything up. Man, this garage is a mess. You need to get the dump trailer here, clean up the garage, load up the uh, debris and trash and uh, finish up this bathroom. Here we go. So what we're doing right now, we're installing the faucet. This is our marble Carrera top. There's the bathroom. Floor is done. We need a transition installed cabinet. Will be installed today. Again, finishing touches, trim kit, tub spout, shower head, clean up this shower, baseboard, toilet, paint touch up. So wrapping everything up, everything's coming to an end on this one and then we move to the master shower. So it'll be a master shower remodel after this full bathroom remodel, the hall bath remodel. So we're gonna get to it, time to finalize. Our top and faucet is in. We're double checking to make sure there are no leaks. The grab bar has been installed. I'm to install the toilet paper dispenser, towel bar, towel hook, baseboard and toilet. Okay guys, the full bathroom is complete. We're all done. The old, ugly, dated, cookie cutter, fiberglass surround and old dated bathroom has been remodeled and renovated to a beautiful, clean, modern bath and shower. Let's show you all of the details, show you the final product. Here we go. Let's start with the floor. Beautiful floor. It is flat. It looks like wood. It is a porcelain plank, three foot installed at a 33% offset. And the grout joints are 1 16th of an inch. Looks fantastic. We installed new baseboard. We painted the bathroom. Move on over to the medicine cabinet. New medicine cabinet, 
decorative light and we have a vanity here. This is an all-in-one vanity kit. Marble Carrera top, large cabinet, soft closed drawers, undermount sink, a new brushed nickel faucet. Swing on over here, we installed a new low flow toilet. We painted the ceiling and we also installed a new vent fan. And let's take a look at this shower. It is a tub surround. New tub has been installed. New valve trim kit. We raised the shower head. It looks fantastic. It looks clean and looks modern. Very durable tile on the walls. We have a porcelain 12 by 24. It is a Carrera look slash sort of wood grain look as well. Horizontal movement. Everything is super flat. Square and plum Schluter Jolly we used to cap off both sides of the shower. And we also used the Schluter Jolly for our niche. So real quick, installed this at a 50% offset. Pay attention to layout, it's very simple. We have full 12 by 24s landing right at the niche. Fulls in this row and then it continues all the way up to the ceiling. Moving on to the niche, 12 by 20. Again, trimmed out all the way around with Schluter Jolly. We have miters at all four corners. The deco that we use for behind the niche is a hexagon marble. We have our sill here, proper pitch, proper slope. The niche turned out fantastic. We ran our silicone around the perimeter of the tub. We installed silicone where the two planes meet both sides as well as the ceiling. And lastly, we ran a bead of silicone where this floor tile meets the tub. Installed a grab bar, as well as a magnetic shower head. Well, that's it for this one, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. And most importantly, tap that bell notification down there so that you get notified when new videos come out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.